Hey guys, Laurel here, and welcome to another episode of Mother 3. Last time we continued our way down um, to Osohe Castle, and we have finally infiltrated it after with the help of Nippolite and getting attacked by, well, zombies. <laughs> so, yep, here we go. Um, we're gonna go ahead and get started with this. Um, we're gonna go right into here and get a treasure chest or a present after fighting a ghost. And you will be seeing a lot of these ghosts around, like, that's kind of the gimmick of this place, is that it's haunted. But fighting ghosts is gonna have a use, um, later on. So, we're gonna go ahead and fight this goat. Well, we won, but... <laughs> oh, I'm so, so rusty at this. We're gonna get rotten milk, which isn't going to help us any. So now, there isn't much else we can do, but if you'll notice this statue, it's called Heavy Metal. Haha. -ha. So what you want to do is you want to go over here, and notice that giant ball that it's holding. We want to ram right into it, and then it will knock that down, and then we will have a way back down. Or a way down, not back down, I guess, since we've never been down there. And you can always go back up with the wall stable staples, but we don't need to, so... Okay, I guess we do. Yes, we will, uh, we'll be going, um, up, I guess. I guess we'll just do that. That's cool, too. So now we have to jump back down, because I'm dumb. Alright, let's go ahead and pick up this present, and get... Crap. I forgot about that one. Alright, in Osohe, the ghosts love nothing more than to cause problems. Indeed they will. Because, um, that ghost just, uh, causes us to get a status effect, which you can heal with the fresh mint. And that's what this sign says. You know that feeling when you're just kind of bleh and you can't eat anything at all? Refreshment will, will make you... F yeah, you read it. <laughs> I didn't. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and use that because I forgot about that chest. Or, uh, you know what? I'm just gonna call them chests, and you can call them presents, okay? We're gonna go down here first to open the castle gate for later. I don't know. It it's just one of those OCD things that I like to do. And then we'll open this present here to get another fresh mint. There's also a, uh, springs down here, and I'm gonna go ahead and use that real fast so I don't have to use any items. But yeah, you're gonna be wanting to come back here a lot, especially if you didn't level up Duster. And, trust me, this chapter, this chapter gets hard. Like, this game, in general, is, like, medium difficulty, but I felt that this chapter was pretty tough. But we're gonna go up here, and there's something in here that we want. The rope snake, but the thing is, is this ghost here wants them for a rotten eclair. The thing is, is we don't have any rotten eclairs, so what we can do is we have two options. Well, first we're gonna go ahead and fight these uh, arachnids to get a really cool battle music. One of my favorites, actually. They're pretty weak, though. But um, those ghosts that were walking around outside, they do actually drop a. Uh, um, I just said the name. Rotten Eclairs, so you're gonna wanna fight those guys for him. You could just find one in a present. Like, see, there's Rotten Milk, and there's a ghost. Let's fight this ghost. Yeah, that's the thing about ghosts, is you can't really see them. <sighs> and they will cough up terrible odor a lot. They're not too tough. Okay, well, I guess he won't die in two hits. That's odd. Ugh. All, no all getting nauseated does is it makes it so you can't eat food. What? I didn't get one? They have a pretty high drop rate, too. I gotta use my fresh mint already. Yeah, that's what I don't like about this, this place. There's some beef jerky, that'll come in handy. Um, I don't remember if there's anything down here. But there's some new enemies down here. Like this barrel. Which is... a barrel man. <laughs> they're, they're not too tough. Ah, <sighs> uh, And I get put to sleep. As expected. I mean, you know, that's how it works, right? That's how it's supposed to work. Ugh, alright. Alright, 16. Sweet. And... He gave an up, Red. Awesome. Not bad. Let's go ahead and ignore these guys for now. Um... Alright, there's nothing in here. There's a bunch of these pink little balls. I guess I'll show them off. Oh. Huh. I guess I'll show one off. No, I won't. I'll fight a ghost that I can't see. Let's take out the ghost first. They're much more... They're much more, uh, of a threat. Yeah, there we go. Two hits. 
I hope that you can still get an item when you fight two different enemies. I'm pretty sure you can, but I know you can't get more than one item in a fight. But that didn't yield any results. So we gotta grind against ghosts. Ghastly grinding, as it were. Yeah, two hits that I can't seem to do the hit sy combo system in this game. And no item, please. If you don't drop one, I'm just gonna go check out that other room. Uh, and knowing me, I'm gonna get status affected like crazy in this castle. Um, let's go ahead and go in here. Alright, there's a uh, present in here. But as I recall, that's not all that's in here. Well, obviously, but you'll see what I mean in a second. I'm gonna use the rotten milk just because it's not going to be really useful. <laughs> that arachnid tried to attack, but it couldn't. Alright, let's go ahead and take out this arachnid. See, I killed him in one hit now, which is nice. Let's go ahead and pick this up to get the battle memory! Yes, I can show that off. The battle memory is an actually... an actually. It is a uh, key item that lets you uh, live your um, past battles, so you can go back here and fight these enemies. And you can also see their front and back side, like, the Mole Cricket doesn't have a back side because it's, you know, it's just the first boss of the game. Um, you can also fight these guys, and they are always susceptible to sleep, so that you can practice against their battle music to, uh, help you, uh, master their, um, timed hits. Which is really, really useful if you plan on trying that. I, however, cannot do that, so that's what that does. And you can also read really cool, uh, like, uh, descriptions, like a very orthodox titany, famous for its personality, but not for its voice. So yeah, if you get the chance, you might want to go through and read these if you've played this. <laughs> See Zombie Man's page for her description because they're exactly alike, pronouns aside, not just because the writer is lazy. <laughs> yeah, this game's got some awesome humor. Alright, we'll go ahead and fight this ghost again, because I really want to get that stupid rotten eclair. And the thing is, is I get super lucky with these rotten eclairs, because the, the ghosts have a really good chance of dropping them. There we go, rotten eclair, awesome. Alright, oh, right, that's a sign. Um, let's go ahead and get the rope snake. You'll see what the rope snake does in a little bit, but, you know. Alright, we got the rope, snake, we got the... Yeah. yeah, I'll treasure for the rest of my life. Thank you, Mr. Ghost. I'm not gonna fight you guys. <laughs> Never mind. I guess I am going to fight the sneaky ghost. Ugh. So I guess... No, don't call for help. You don't need help. You have help right... Well, no, you don't, but you did. Even though I just killed the one that asked for help. But, um, I guess if, uh... Well, no, this battle's almost over. I was gonna talk about stuff, but, you know, with the pace this game goes, there's not really much I can talk about. Um, let's go ahead and go up here, and fight some more arachnids! Yeah, nothing I love more than to do simple one-hit kill battles, you know? Let's go over here, and try to avoid the arach- uh, excuse me, arachnid. Um, I don't remember... yeah, let's go up here first. Alright, yeah, this is a unique room. Let's go ahead and talk to this little mouse here. All the fireplaces in this castle are connected via a squeakrit passageway. Keep it a squeakrit from the ghosts, though. Alright, cool. Let's go ahead and pick this- oh god. Oh god. Chick bandana. Um. <laughs> Alright, we got an artsy ghost here. I don't remember what they're weak against. I'm going to use a scary mask because the artsy ghost is a bit stronger than your average enemy. And I- yeah. Nixia's average attack is 7 with a lowered offense. Let's go ahead and try the wall staple. There we go, yeah. He's weak to, to the, um... Well, that's gonna sound really bad if I say it that way, but he's weak to the wall staple. So now we can just bash him until he does this and speaks passionate about art, and Duster doesn't understand. Poor Duster. It wasn't too tough, but I remember having some issues. But again, that's probably because, you know... <laughs> this game is a lot harder your first time through. Let's go ahead and equip that, too, while we're at it. That was in the wrong menu. You can do it from there, but I don't. I like to do it there. Now we won't die as fast. And I'm gonna go ahead and use some, uh, nut bread. 
And not cheese, not cheese. We'll go ahead and use that too. Alright, we got Alright, we're pretty good on items. We got a couple of healing items and a couple of bombs. Which you'll be using them this battle. Or this area. Oh god, and then there are some uh iron knights there. They are really hard. Um, I guess I can show them off. I might as well. I don't know if I'll win. But I'll just show off one of them. Just to show you some ghost armor. <laughs> some ghost armor. Oh, it is just ghost armor. Yeah, see, they're quite... They're full... They, they, yeah, they have pretty high defense. So... He tried to look cool. <laughs> I love some of the things that the enemies do in this game. But yeah, um, again, I recommend leveling up when you get the chance to. If you ever plan on playing this in the future. But, um, I'm making this look a lot easier than it is. Now we can talk to all these ghosts here. And the game will also lag here for some reason. But, um, I'll talk to this one. Do you want something to eat too? Um, uh, sure. Here you go. Oh, yeah, this ghost. Alright, this ghost is cool because this ghost will, you, as you can see, he's, um, well, he's eating and it's kind of going through him. If you talk to this ghost over and over and over again, he'll give you as many rotten eclairs as you can hold. Which, if you're willing to, you can take them back to that ghost back there and get, like, a bunch of nut breads. Which is good, because, um, if you, uh, didn't level up and you're finding it a hard time, you can just, uh, farm for rotten eclairs here. But there's an even better trick here, but first we're gonna pick up this blue chest if this ghost doesn't stop us. Which he then tells us what's in the box, and I don't get to tell you because it's the Osohei sketch. Now there's some enemies in here, and I think they're just cockroaches. And there's also that bottle over there. Yeah, I see a violent roach, which is really kind of creepy. And, uh, he'll just knit his brow at us. But he's pretty weak, so that's okay. Get 40 EXP. Not bad, not bad. Now I think we need to go this way, I'm pretty sure. No, 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 I lied. We need to go up here. There's a ghost in here that tells you about this. But, you know. There we go. I was gonna say, come on, Duster. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Gotta go, Duster. Yeah, this ghost right here. He will take your rotten eclairs for beef jerky, which is better than what you can get back at the trading ghost, which will take two of them for it. Now, beef jerky heals more, so you can go back down there and stock up on rotten eclairs and get beef jerky from this ghost, which is always nice, you know. So we want to go down here first and go get those two treasures, or... Boxes. One of these has a ghost in it that's gonna hit me with the status effect, and I can't remember which one. There we go, this one gives me an aquarium. Was this one the one? Yeah, I think this one is a uh, status effect ghost, but I can't remember. I don't have any fresh mints, so I don't really want to risk it, so I'm not going to. Um, let's go ahead and equip that Aquarius bracelet, and then we're gonna go back up here. Now, here's where it- no, wait, nope, up here first. Yeah, if anybody remembers whether or not that present is a ghost or not, I don't think it really matters because I know where the important chests are, but we're gonna see what the rope snake does. Looks like this is a job for me. Hook me right there onto that candlestick. Go ahead, don't worry about me. Yep, this is where the rope snake comes in handy. And bam, we get across the gap. And we're gonna sneak up on this new enemy, which has another song that I love. I don't know why, but I just really like this particular song. And he yanked the carpet which is a status effect that makes Duster fall over. And I can't move twice. And he doesn't do anything except to try a fence up A, you jerk. Thank you, Duster. Oh, come on. Ugh, I hope this guy doesn't hit me. <sighs> okay, that's good. Alright. Now, there's a ghost right here at this door. And he knows we're quite strong, but the suit of armor inside here is definitely no pushover either. I'm talking incredibly strong here. If you think you're up to the challenge, I'll move out of the way. Regular items, mystical thief tools, use whatever you can to cling clang, boom bang that guy into submission. And I will show this, but before I do that, I'm going to pick up this present here and get some durable shoes. Now, I didn't set a timer, but I think we're coming up to the 20 minute mark. So, I'm going to call it good here, and in the next episode of Mother 3, we're going to take on this ghost armor. So, I hope to see you guys uh, in the next episode, and I hope you enjoyed this rather long-winded one where I just kind of talked a whole lot, but I think that's the point of Let's Plays. Anyway, <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode of Mother 3. 
Later.